Uh, is Trudeau any different so far? Trudeau is no different at all. In fact, he openly supports Bill C-51, and he got behind the bill. That should be an eye-opener to people to show them that, you know, it's the same left-right false paradigm. It's the same thing in the United States. We're having it here. You're listening to The Corbett Report. This is James Corbett of CorbettReport.com coming to you from Acapulco, Mexico on the 1st of March, 2015, as we record this conversation with my good friend Dan Dix of PressForTruth.ca. And he has traveled not so far as me, but still a long way to be here. And today we're going to talk not, not about Mexico, but about Canada, where some interesting political developments are unfolding ahead of this year's elections, selections, where Harper looks like he may be replaced as prime minister, perhaps by a young upstart who will be well-known to Canadians, but probably not so well-known to the rest of the world. Uh, First of all, Dan, thank you so much for joining me. No problem. My pleasure. All right. So first of all, for the benefit of people out there who don't know the intricacies of Canadian politics, who is Pierre Trudeau? Uh, Sorry, (laughs) not Pierre Trudeau. Um, Justin uh, Trudeau is actually the son of uh, Pierre Elliott Trudeau. Um, For people who don't know, he was our former Prime Minister of Canada, and um, his son is now the young charming, hope change, up and coming savior of Canada that they are now um, uh, propping up and, and pos- positioning him now uh, for, for leadership. So he's going to officially be the counter opposition to Harper. And it looks like they're just trying to whisk him in right now. Yeah, a couple of things going on there. As you see, I already confused him with his father. And of course, we have the Obama hope and change template that seems to be at work right now. So he is the head of the Liberal Party right now? Um, He is currently uh, the leader. Um, Interestingly enough, they don't necessarily have a platform, really. He's not really campaigning on any kind of one specific platform. However, something that he's doing, um, which we can see it for what it is, is going for the the, the, the weed ticket. Um, right now, there's a lot of things happening with the legalization of marijuana in uh, Canada. As far as the medicinal users, there's a lot of uh, laws being changed right now. So Justin Trudeau is, is riding, playing the weed ticket by saying, I'm going to legalize marijuana if you vote for me. And of course, he's getting all the, the, the young votes are, are just flocking towards him because of this. Um, unfortunately, People don't actually look into what he means by legalization. And as we know, all of these politicians often make promises that they they never really keep. So uh, it's funnily enough that that's that I suppose is his campaign that he's going to try to ride in on on the weed ticket. So we're going to have to see how that one goes. Yeah. Well, looking in from overseas, I can tell you that the only thing I know about Trudeau and what's being talked about is the the weed issue. So, I mean, that's clearly what they're kind of setting him up for. I understand you've confronted him at least once? I have uh, spoken with him a number of times, um, confronted him about uh, Bilderberg. Uh, his father uh, attended the Bilderberg meeting, so, and knowing that he's now being shaped and groomed for this position, I, I figured uh, there's got to be a good chance he's going to get invited. Knowing he's not been there yet, I asked, hey, Justin, if you were invited to Bilderberg, would you go to something such as that? And of course, his quick short answer was, I'm not here to talk about Bilderberg. Um, but we will be at Bilderberg this year um, in June in Austria, and I'm going to be keeping my eye out for him there because, of course, we have an election uh, coming up in October. Um, so it would be very interesting to see if uh, the hair, as we call him in Canada, Justin, ends up uh, showing up at Bilderberg this year. Yeah, vote for the hair. Um, Well, okay, so obviously this year is going to be a kind of make or break for this issue in particular. What are you working on in regards to this? Well, we've decided that this is an issue that's incredibly important for Canadians to be aware of. So we're right now compiling uh, a lot of interviews, um, a lot of footage um, for a piece that we're putting together we're going to call the Trudeau Deception and really just lay it out there for people, show who his background is, where he came from, um, some of the, the 